my pronunciation, Dong Yui. I'm pretty sure this is the temple complex that I'm coming to, and it's called a little bit of interesting sculpture. Okay, the entrance to the right is the Dong Yui Temple. This is the first entry courtyard. Looks, of course, extremely similar to all the rest that I've been in. To me, it seemed like the Thai Buddhist monasteries and temples I went in were very interesting. Each one of them had something that was unique to look at, but I'm not finding that here. Here in this first gate are two statues of generals. This is General Heng, who carries a spear and may be either the General Dragon or General Tiger. It's not clear from the instruction here. And this large statue is the other general who carries an axe. I'm guessing that the big size was to dramatize the power, otherworldly power, of these gods, I guess. These are the ten imperial guards of the Eastern Peak Pantheon. It's interesting, I wonder if they have the same affinity for these as Christians have for various saints that are uh, idolized, contrary to the Catholic Church, um, in their churches. Here, it's sufficient enough to garner at least a little bit of change. And these must be the other five. Notice the interesting facial colors brown, probably white, brown, black, and then red. I'm sure there's a symbology in each of those colors. Certainly weathered and tattered, but perhaps they were as brilliantly colored as are these poorly painted beams. At that case, once they would have been quite spectacular. Here is a tree whose huge limbs in the past have been cut off, perhaps for its protection. Um, a very solid uh, steel pipe structure has been created to support the remains. Here, no doubt, the obligatory either drum tower or bell tower. And, of course, its partner on the other side. This temple is somewhat unique in that it has this raised platform. I've seen it once before, I think in one of the um, courtyards of the Forbidden City and then of course uh, the temples of um, Angkor Wat. But these lanterns are pretty. There are certain times of year that they uh, actually decorate everything with these. Here a forest stele probably of important comments by important people. Almost seems like the Buddhist um, burial stupa forest that you see at all of the, almost all of their temples. And this, these may serve some similar function. I don't think they do, but they might as funerary urns for ashes, if you will. I don't think so. One in the middle there seems curious, doesn't it? I suspect that that's a coiled dragon at the top there. Always I love the incense scented air. You can see that uh, incense burner smoke wafting into the air. That also is an incense urn. You can see from the blackened uh, areas above the holes in it. I don't know what significance one has over the other. Uh, 
Here are these armaments, or look like armaments, are interesting. And they are apparently used because they're worn in the handles. And they have different instruments or different hand positions, etc. at the top. However this structure functions, this architectural structure for the roofs, it certainly does a job. He's really overhanging the wall. This is interesting. Each of these rooms around this Stele forest seem to have um, parishioners, or at least gods, uh, seated in doing something. Isn't that interesting? It's the first time I've seen that. Kindly face, eh? Each holding some kind of implement or working with some kind of implement. Their man has what hopefully is a mask. Perhaps an instrument. They're a flute. These are apparently important people. This is Master Wu, responsible for setting up one of the halls. These are perhaps acolytes or you know, these are interesting. Those hats are interesting too. How, how uh, Egyptian this seems. I wonder if these statues represent the actual people. It's kind of eerie because you half expect them to be alive. This woman in chains, wonder why. All the stories that go with the, oh, this probably represents punishments. And there perhaps a garret, a knife, some kind of stock. Notice the facial looks. This man here being berated perhaps by the other.